So how would you assess how the season has been going panning out so far? Which look, it's probably okay. It's probably the word I do, Sean, to be fair. So, you know, obviously we knew the first home game against Wexford was very important. So that was uh, critical. I felt we got two points on the board, which we did achieve. So, and obviously we came out of Northern Park with a draw as well. So, and uh, that was probably, you know, as I said, after the game, it was probably half time. You're probably thinking we're in a good position. And at the end of the game, we were probably happy to get to get the draw and get the leveller um, you know, six minutes into injury time. So, so probably. Um, Okay, so far, and I suppose we would have visited this as block one and block two, and block one, you know, three points so far, and obviously we're heading to Westmead this weekend, and it's vitally important again that we, we try and get out there and get the victory and get the five points. How pleasing was the late stages on Sunday, Henry, now that you've had a couple of days to digest it? Like? Uh, it was pleasing, yeah, because it could have easily went away from us. As I said that first 15 minutes after half time, I think Kenny got to 25 points very quickly within 15, 16 minutes. So, and they were dominating all over the plane and playing very good hurling. So, from there to grasp it back, and you know we we had a stage where we came good, and then Kenny got back into it again. But then we came good again the last few minutes, especially in uh, you know the clock was in red. So that was pleasing, of course it was. But I suppose. We never have time to reflect on the whole game and you say, yeah, you know, no different to Kenny, I'd say we'd say, yeah, we could have been better and we made mistakes and give silly turnovers and give an opportunity for them to get a foothold in the game. So um, that's the that's the thing about the Ryan Robin, you're, you're looking forward and you're trying to improve and uh, there was lots of uh, areas that we can go after now this week in training. Your subs three paid you very well, like, you know, Lachlan getting the equaliser in particular, like, um, you know, he backed himself in a big moment. Like. Yeah, look, and... And then to be fair to Declan and Liam Collins and Jason, but three of them scored and Finton made a bit of an impact as well when he came in there wing back. So, but like I've had a lot of days where no one has mentioned the subs. So I think that's the way it goes. I'm sure some of the other managers that are here today have had days where the subs make an impact and the others they don't. And I, I, I've been there myself. It's a difficult position. You know, Declan Glocken came on with 69 minutes. Like <coughs> he gets one ball in his hand. That's it. You know. So the other ball, which he read, beats him in front of him. So it's. It's small impact in the game, but obviously at that stage and the, the tightness of the game, it has uh, overall the effect is, is massive. So, so yeah, well, that, that was pleasing, and um, you know, just I suppose we were talking about getting strength and depth in our panel, and it gives those players great confidence. But I think it showcases to the other players that are outside our top 20 at the moment that you train hard, you show form, you get an opportunity, and hopefully it'll work out for you. Was it 220 players that you brought which on Sunday? No, just, 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 just Liam Collins, yeah. Okay. He's uh, Declan McLaughlin's last year, he's just out of it as all. Well. Okay, so the fact that the ruling, uh, I know you probably, they probably won't have played two games in 48 or 24 hours anyway, well, but just I, the fact I, that you could I disagree with you big because big. I think it was a knockout game. Would Liam Collins have been able to go to Tullamore on Saturday and play a match? Yes, I think that would. Why not? He played six minutes with us, you know. Okay. Um, so I think the opportunity should have been there for him to have that opportunity. You know, that, that you know, it was taken out of his, our hands, I suppose, and we obviously felt that we, we'd like Lean to be on our bench. So that was the call we had made. And to be fair to Brian Hanley and his management team, they, they were totally understandable about that. Um, Sean O'Hanlon and Gavin Lee are two other players, and they travelled with the under 20s on. On Saturday, so but I'm sure they were very disappointed at knowing that Liam Collins was sitting there watching the game when he could have had an impact in that awfully game. And uh, you know, he played six or seven minutes for us on the Sunday. And what an under 20 year old, after a disappointing loss maybe to Offaly, would have no problem getting up on a Sunday morning, traveling to Nolan Power, going to a big game with a big crowd, and being a substitute, and maybe coming on for 10 or 15 minutes. I, I, I found him to see how that would have an effect on a, on a player. I think it would be beneficial to him, if anything. So is the ruling, I, I know it's been tweaked at con Congress recently, but it needs, I, do you think it just needs to go? I think it just needs to go, yeah. I don't see the logic in it. I think from listening to Ben O'Connor, Cameron Larvity, all last week who spoke very elegantly on it, <clears> and to be fair to those chaps, and then it's it's down to a bit of uh, maturity on behalf, on behalf of the management teams that they get on, the relationship between them, that we understand where it is. But as I said, I can't see, you know, and if, if Liam Collins had woke up Sunday morning and been very sore and stiff and got a lot of belts and he's on our bench, so be it, he can stay on the bench and not come in the game. You know, we can call that, you know, so. And we have 20, we need 26 players. We can only bring on five, you know, so. There's always six subs who don't get an opportunity to play, and uh, if you happen to have one of your own 20s there who you feel you don't need to use, 
<clears throat> has a major impact on, on your own team uh, for, the, for, the, for the following day. And in terms of just, can you, can you, is there any, I suppose there's a certain amount of logic to, to why they, they do it as a burnout, but like as someone, I think you did too, when you were on campaigns when you were senior, maybe played in All Ireland yeah, and successive Sundays. The burnout, any harm, the burnout is the beginning of the year, you know, the burnout is not now and it's the, it's the big day. So I think, you know, I think we all understand that. And as I said, it's, uh, it's down then to the management teams to really understand the player that they're not. And that's something that myself and Brian Hanley would do, and I'm sure nearly every other management teams with between under 20 and, and senior get that and understand that I think that's the that's the big thing for me and did you give any consideration to just I'm, I'm sure you did that this is a knockout game on Saturday it's not a knockout game Sunday should I just leave it to the 20s yeah but it was a very important game for us so yeah. I said that was and, and you know that's I suppose you know you have to be somewhat ruthless in, in, in your decisions and probably we felt that we would like Liam and I said it could have been a different conversation next week you know so we were taking it very much game by the game and uh, we felt we wanted Liam on the bench uh, going to Nola Park and that was the call we made and as said Brian Hanley was very supportive of that it's not ironic though that it's it's, it's not this is not coming from Pro Park it's GA delegates who are members of the GA who have made this ruling <coughs> So, is there some? Is, does that display a sort of a split between managers, players, and the people who make decisions? Because that's who have made but, uh, that's who has made the decision. Yeah, but I'm not quite sure, Sean. Were managers consulted? I'm, I'm not quite sure, and maybe you might be able to tell me. But well, I you weren't consulted. Were no, they? absolutely. No, not, they weren't no. consulted. No, the Central no. Council thing was made. A yeah. couple of weeks after the Congress. Yeah. 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 So. I said, I think from listening to managers now, both 120 and senior managers, I think yeah, it's rude because I said, it's a big hit like Galway and I know it was a great win for Offaly obviously, but for Galway it was very disappointing to have a, a star man sitting on the bench to come on for, to come on for, played about nine, ten minutes in Nolan Park, so it's a, it's a, it's a heavy blow for them. With the young fellas coming in, do you kind of feel that competitiveness has gone up in action training this year? I know, look, to be fair, I, I, I feel probably last year, I think I've said this somewhere before, but last year you feel that you kind of inherit a panel that's there from the previous uh, management team and you're probably trying to understand it and I was probably later, I hadn't seen any club championship, while this year you have a year of looking at those players and then you get the, the whole season to look at the club championship, so you probably feel that you have a better stamp on yourself um, and your, your own thing. So. That's, that's one of the things, but of course, you, you try to make it as competitive as possible. But it is difficult, because we played two matches, we've probably used 22, 23 players so far, so we have another 13, 14 players, so they're, they're the ones that we need to keep competitive, because we are going to need them. Lads are going to pick up knocks and injuries, and uh, they're going to need that competitive squad. So, But hopefully, as I said, because it's game on game, you don't get an opportunity. So it is. I do agree with the week off now. So we'll have a couple of uh, internal games before we go against and enter them again. Then uh, Sunday, Sunday fortnight this stage. How are things in the injury front, Henry? Yeah, we should look touch wood. You know, I think everyone is probably carrying a few, but we, we have a few knocks. Yes, we do. But Tom Allen is obviously out for a few weeks. We've grind injury. Uh, Davy Brock was obviously a massive loss to the start of the championship. But he said. The other side, we have a couple of lads coming back from some hamstring injuries and stuff like that, so they're kind of coming back into the fold. So, uh, but again, the problem with them is that they're coming back. How do you get them up to speed so that they're ready for championships? So that's one of the difficulties. But so look, oh, it's, it's okay so far, and nothing, nothing too major. And hopefully, it'll continue. Is Davy still around the group? Like, he's still around the group. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a very good lad, and he's helping out with stats, lads, and, uh, and some of the analysis and stuff. And, uh, He's just a very experienced player and uh, it's nice to have him around the group. Henry, you were quite vocal on Sunday about players going to ground. Do you think that's a problem in Hurling now? <coughs> uh, no, I don't, but I think there's sometimes players, and some of our lads are the same, defenders especially, when they're coming out of the ball, they're under pressure, kind of go to ground to get a free. You know, I think that's it. Up there. But look, I, I think managers, you know, you reflect and you watch back the match and you say, yeah, no, that was a free when I look at it again. So, uh, I, I don't think so because I think the number of frees, I would imagine, has probably gone down so far in the games I've seen. Uh, the number of frees been given. So, uh, I don't think, the, I think the free, and I think the, the players throwing their arms into the air, kind of head high, looking for, you know, looking, pushing their head up, looking for a free. I think, Referees have copped onto that. I'd say they've mm. done a bit of work on it, which I think is good as well. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't see it an issue because I don't think there was that many frees uh, in, the, in the game the weekend, so I, I couldn't see it being an issue.
Irish. Oh, you were on about that ten years ago, I think. Remember down in Clare? Do you remember that? No. Oh yeah, right <laughs> above it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Actually, yeah, I did a bit of a dance after it. Um, so yeah, no, I, 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 but I think the the referees are very much. Ah, uh, yeah, and fair. I think the standard of refereeing so far in the championship has been very good. You know, it's a mm. difficult job as we all know. So it's, uh, it's very, very difficult, and we we see what's going on at Kilkenny at the moment, which is absolutely disgraceful what happened there uh, last week. So as I said, it's uh, great to see the Kilkenny referees supporting each other, and uh, as I said I think we all have a part to play in respecting each other. There's a kind of a duty of care to make sure that nothing ha- like referee we won't have games without. Oh yeah, yeah, and they do, they do add to the game. I think in the Munster final last year, I watched John Keenan do. He's very much added to the game, and uh, you know, I think uh, Callum Lyons added to the game last Saturday night. So I said, that's uh, that's what we need. We need those top quality referees. Do you, do you, do you that sort of over the years? That sort of crazy correspondence yourself? Ah no, no. No, I didn't know. I've got a couple of letters over the years for something. Uh, some of the writing would be eligi- eligible, to be honest. You saw, I said it's, uh, it's quickly forgotten about. So, um, yeah, no. Yeah. You ever think of going into referee? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, one last thing. Do you think exactly. there's a kind of narrative developing that the Munster Championship is much more competitive than the Leinster? No. Now, I know you've had your two tough games. What do you think about that? Mm. Ah, look, it's, 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 it's whatever way you, you view it yourself, you know, so, so we, we know there's, you know, to be fair to uh, Antrim, they've performed very well so far, and I said Westmead are competitive, yes, Westmead know they're not going to win the Leinster Championship, you know, and to be honest, but she said, we've uh, five games in six weeks, so it brings its own stay, and you look at the table, you look at the table last year, it came down to the last day, and that's what's going to happen this year and again. So it's competitive nature, and there's no doubt look, the quality teams in Munster, we all know that. So as I said, it's, um, it's just two different competitions, I think, and that's how we view it.